Headache is probably one of the most common pain issues that shows up at the GP's office. Uh, then what you need to do as the GP is determine what type of headache, what's causing the headache, and most of the time the answer is it's not one type of headache, it's anywhere from two to four types of headache. And to treat it you want to get rid of rebound or analgesic or vasoconstrictor rebound headache and then uh, work tension type headache differently. You treat it differently than you do migraine. The other most common chronic pain syndromes in a GP's office would be first something like fibromyalgia which is total body pain with nothing to be found really on examination. So the diagnosis is now historical. Um, we used to look for tender points, but they're no longer part of the diagnosis. Aside from fibromyalgia, what's very common is peripheral neuropathy. Patients will show up, because that's their doctor, and you see this both in uh, GP as well as an ob -gyne, because many young women don't have a GP. They have everything done with their ob -gyne. And as they get older, they'll stay that way until they come in and say, gee, you know, I've got pain in my feet and my hands, and what's it feel like? And, you know, pins and needles, or, or it's sharp, it's burning. And from there, uh, some GPs will try to treat it. Usually they'll start with an anti-convulsant medication, uh, which is a smart thing to do, because you do not want to treat those type of issues with an opioid. And let me be more specific and state that headaches should almost never be treated with an opioid. Fibromyalgia, likewise. We know that migraine is a vascular, neurological vascular headache. And more importantly, it's a disease of the brain, is basically what we understand now from what we understand about migraine. And it is associated in a number of migraine patients with uh, central sensitization. That means that the brain, uh, the pain pathways within the brain and the brains, the parts of the brain that uh, understand what pain is and tell you that you're hurting are turned on and don't turn off. This is one simplistic way of looking at central sensitization. Now, tension type headache is very different because most, if not 90 odd percent of the time, or 100 percent, some people think, it's secondary to peripheral stimulation first, meaning it's not a neurological disorder okay, or a brain disorder. It's secondary to muscle spasm, what we used to call muscle contraction headache. And you can tell this because if you know how to properly examine the patient, you can actually palpate myofascial or muscular trigger points. And trigger points refer pain. Trigger points in muscles in the neck, in the shoulders, and even in the head refer pain in methods and in areas that are identical to the descriptions that you read about headaches. Patient comes in and says, you know, doc, I've got really tight, squeezing pain in the back of my head. And on examination, certainly there is um, tenderness to palpation of the occipital insertions where the muscles in the back of the neck actually hook into the skull. And then you have the temporal insertions here where these muscles hook into the skull. And that gets tight because when the muscles pull, they're tight, so they're going to pull, it causes pain in these areas. That's why you can feel the muscles up here and you say, my gosh, you know, that hurts. Now, the only main similarity, or should I say the only significant similarity, between the two types of headache is the fact that constant peripheral stimulation induces uh, first 
what we call wind up, which is a um, constant input to the central nervous system, the spinal cord and the brain, of peripheral stimulation from A delta fibers and C fibers, which makes the milieu of the brain, which has its own ascending pain pathways that are there to bring pain information into the brain, you to the somatosensory cortex through the thalamus typically, it involves the limbic system and then goes back down uh, in a descending pathway which is there to try to stop the pain. Basically what happens is certain types of brain, uh, certain types of neurons in the spinal cord of the brain turn on okay, and don't turn off. So you have constant pain and essentially you have central sensitization or, or central pain from tension type headaches. Now, the other issue with tension type headaches is that what happens when you have a headache? You take a pill. Some doctors make the mistake of utilizing uh, opioids. And we know from published papers as well as clinical experience that giving patients analgesics on a constant basis more than 10 days of the month or more for uh, barbiturates eight days in a month for women more than men and for vasoconstrictors like triptans and ergots 10 to 14 days will induce a MOH or medication overutilization headache. So you may have started with a migraine Okay, a uh, central nervous system has a problem, this migraine. And there is new data showing the relationship between episodic migraine and what we and epilepsy. Many of the same situations occur. And actually there's a form called migralepsy where a patient will develop my, typically a migraine with aura and within an hour or two of the aura or after the headache they'll have a grand mal seizure. Okay and studies have shown in anywhere from um, one study 44 percent of patients with a diagnosis of epilepsy also have a diagnosis of migraine. Now if you go to the regular non-epileptic population the pop the percentage of patients with migraine is something like 18% in women and 6% in men. There's about 30 million migraine sufferers in the United States. And migraine is so significant a problem because it creates significant um, issues with the patient's ability to work. They can't work in the midst of a migraine. And one of the ways you can find out is how they act. All right, another reason they're not two ends of that spectrum, they act totally differently. Patients with tension type headache, which can become extremely severe, can still plod through the day. Whereas the migrainer, just like the um, stereotype indicates, will go into a dark room, make sure everybody shuts up, pull the curtain, lie down in bed, put the Blank, the blanket and the pillow over their head and try to go to sleep. Totally different.